all talk about all the time about all these seniors remember four years ago when they were in the eighth grade and they were out here on the field. I got 11 seniors on my team. It's been my brother since the sixth grade. When I first got here, started playing football, we went one and nine. We're nine and zero now. Everybody was down us. They was like we was gonna lose every game. Last year we came out, proved our point, and then this year we came out stomping harder like nobody expected that. But hey, <laughs> we coming for some more. <laughs> Season 2, episode 49, Patience is the Key. This episode is sponsored by Sharon's Defensive Driving. We took a trip out to the backwoods. Glenn Brook undefeated and taking on the defending champs, the Homer Pels. Coach Feaster never goes quietly into the night, nor should he. All he does is win. Coach Casey, he's built something special in his hometown, and he capped it off with a title last season and trying to run that thing back. It was like watching iron sharp and iron under them lights. The defenses took advantage of the offseason. Check them out. Let's go, D! Let's go! Both teams battled in the trenches. And after that first quarter, we knew it was going to be a movie. Trey Kent, he was something like Clark. He put on the cape and he snatches an interception. He put on a nice return for them boys, DJ Carter and the Apaches. They would finally reach the end zone in the second quarter. Ty Feaster sneaks it in from the one yard line. That's a tug. Homer responds on the next drive. Greg Williams, he bounces outside, picks up 20 yards and a first down. Then he take it to the other side, squeeze past the pylon. Uh, we got a tie game in the second, seven off. It was a real life battle. Every inch matters. That would be your halftime score. Nothing but respect from both sides. They were calling Ty Tom like Brady, calling Waltese the Hulk. But that didn't mean they stopped competing. Landry Powell, he went crazy. He had some big time sacks and some tax for losses. In the summer, we go out there to the track. We run sprints. We go into the weight room. We do our power cleans, do our squat, do our bench press. We just get better in there. Coming in, we're going to have to work. You know, we thought this year was special. You know, it means a lot when you're a senior and you're like, man, the year is going to come and keep going away. And it's, eventually it's gone. So the hard work we put in, Coach Feaster has us working, you know, big weight room guy. That led to another nice drive for Glenbrook. Turner McClellan on the end around. He picks up 26 before being pushed out of bounds. Then Ty drops back, catches a man in the flat. That's another first down. Then they started feeding Mad Max Mandino. Yards on top of yards. Led to a tub for the try. 14-7 in the third. That's where you need to buy in at, the weight room. Once you buy in the weight room, everything gets easier. Do the little things right and the big things will come. The Apaches with all the momentum. Homer. Losing a few players to injury, Ty and the offense went back to work. The play action brought him time, and he found his sink. Kaysen Clemens. Oh, that's a huge first down for them boys. The Pels defense would make a stand. A field goal attempt, no good. We still got us a game, boys. I'm running out of here! <laughs> Andre Bucks, he would drop back. He would find LaMichael Greer downfield. He makes the grab, gets inside the five before being brought down. Huge first down. The Tribe would make him work for it, but on fourth and short. Dre, he would make that extra effort. Uh, get the ball across the goal line. We've got a tie game at 14. Yes, sir. Here we go again. That boy Rhett picks up eight and a first down. And Ty throws a dot to Mad Max. He makes the grab. Homer would hold. Then the Pelicans would try to fly high, but Kaysen comes away with the pick. Coach Feaster draws up this one, Mad Max. He comes around the edge, shows inside, goes outside, picks up 10 more before stepping out of bounds. It wasn't easy, but it ain't supposed to be. Max punches it in. Glenbrook takes the one score lead. Homer would have an opportunity to respond, but, but Glenbrook's defense, they would make the stand on fourth and long. They needed a miracle. They wouldn't get it off. Glenbrook hangs on to win it. Hey, 
And what I told them before the game was, we love the fact that all these people have jumped on the bandwagon and that they're, they're parked all the way over there about two and a half miles away. I'm sorry about that, but we, we love the fact. But the people that we really play for, the ones that were here four years ago, when we were struggling to win a ball game and it was raining on us every week and all that. So it's been going crazy this year. I don't even know how many turnovers they've had, how many big hits they've had. It's crazy. It's really important as an offense when your defense creates a bunch of momentum for you. And then I got DJ Carter. He's running. When he runs the ball, man, he goes crazy. He runs hard. And I got Turner McLeland, Chase and, uh, Chase and Tell, Casey and Clemens, all these dudes that can just run out and catch the ball, man. It's great. It's nice to have these, uh, these targets. Uh, be patient. Don't jump on nothing too early. Just like when you think, when you think something's right, it might not be. Take a step back, and go at it another way. Every every day at practice, bro, we come out here and work on the things that we need to get better on. You know, like we'll watch film and see like what we messed up on and come out here and work on it. And then we get prepared for the week. Once we get prepared for the week, we locked in. Friday nights, we come out here and do what we gotta do. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, Appreciate it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all look up to you, man. I, I specialize to know they kind of look up to y'all like that. Hey, uh, little kids, I was one of them. I've been here, I've been at Glenbrook my whole my whole life since I was in kindergarten. And I was I was one of those kids over there right now after the game throwing the throwing the football. And now I'm standing here getting interviewed after we just after we just won. So to them, just keep your head up and keep grinding and it's gonna pay off. You know I'm small, so if you're small, don't worry about it. People will say a lot of things about you. You know, have the heart and have the confidence in yourself, and I swear you'll do great things. Don't listen to the critic. Don't listen to the hate. Keep going and keep pushing forward, and you'll make it. I promise. We've been going hard at practice, boy drills. We've been fighting back and forth at one-on-one -on -one at practice. This meant a lot of us for the win. We lost last year, but we came back for a comeback. Now we roll to the dome. We not done. <laughs> we not done. Oh, it's hard for them to imagine. Uh, what it would be like to play a semifinal game right here, or even a quad day after Thanksgiving. Uh, you, you know, you, you just can't imagine, you know, uh, how much fun that's going to be to play Washita Christian over here, or, or Cedar Creek, or uh, Southern Lab, or somebody like that. So, because our playoffs are so stacked, it's so hard. But if we can start winning playoff games, it's going to get even more fun than this. This is real special to us because everybody doubted us in this game, and nobody had hope that we'd win. And now the score is 21 to 14. We cheered the whole time, stayed positive, had a good attitude. The boys were hyped the whole time, and we came out with the win.